Hey, my name is Mike, and this is a too long dinner read version of Blackhand on normal. Throughout phase one, the border of the room slowly heats up, so you want to make sure to get him to 70% to push phase two before the entire room kills you. You want to make sure that you're not standing in these little brown swirlies, and this big orange one you also don't want to stand in, but the further away you are, the less damage you take. When this big orange one goes away, it spawns some debris piles. These piles are used for impaling throw. So the boss puts marked for death on random raid members. After five seconds, he throws a dagger towards them. This dagger does damage to that player, knocks them back, and puts a 45 second dot on them. The impaling throw will hit the first thing it hits, so not only does the entire raid want to make sure not to stand in the way of this throw, and that's indicated by the arrows on the boss, but the people that are marked also want to get behind debris piles. Also during this phase, the boss throws down some slag bombs. They're inactive for 3 seconds, but once they're active, walking over them causes anyone within 10 yards to take damage, and the damage you take is increased by 100% for 10 seconds. Blackhand does shattering smash in front of him. This does a high amount of damage split between anyone within 5 yards of him. Anyone that's in front of him gets knocked back to the wall and also stunned for 3 seconds, and when he does this, his threat is reset so the other tank has to taunt. A priest can also life grip the tank that gets smashed. No one except the main tank should be in front of the boss for this ability. At 70%, the boss breaks the floor and you start phase 2. In phase 2, there's siege makers that spawn. You want to make sure to never stand in front of the siege maker because it does damage to you. These also fixate random people so that person has to run away. Slag bombs continue to spawn in this phase, and the person that's fixated should be kiting the siege maker through these bombs to get rid of them. The siege maker has a buff on it that decreases the amount of damage it takes by 90%. The way to get rid of this is to have anyone that's marked for death have the impaling throw hit that siege maker. As soon as that debuff goes away, you want to make sure your DPS switches to it to kill it. If the siege maker is up for too long, they'll start spawning fire patches on the ground. The boss also continues to do shattering smashes this phase, but this time the tank that's getting smashed will have a red circle around him. You want a couple DPS and even maybe a healer to get in that circle, because when they get hit they'll get sent up into the stands where there's adds. These adds just cast explosive round which can be interrupted and is a raid wide AoE. You want to make sure to kill as many of these as you can, but bear in mind that the longer you're up in the stands the more damage you're taking so always keep an eye on your health bar. You don't have to kill every single add up here, just as many as possible without dying. Where you stand in the red circle decides where you're sent, so if you're standing more to the left side of the circle you'll get sent to the left. You also want to make sure not to stand too far forward in this circle. If you do, you'll get sent forward instead of backwards. At 30%, the boss smashes the floor again and you start the third and final phase. There's a raid-wide AoE going on in this phase. The longer that you're in this phase, the more damage it does, so you want to make sure to kill him as fast as possible. In this phase, slag bombs are now thrown on random people, and those people have to make sure to get out of the raid as fast as possible. People that are marked for death have to make sure to stand off to the side. This is because impaling throw now goes through everything in its path, and it also knocks you back. So not only do you want to make sure you're not hitting your raid with this, and you also want to make sure that your back isn't at the edge of the platform or you might get knocked off. Blackhand's Shattering Smash ability works similar to that in Phase 2. There's a red circle, but now every single person wants to get in this red circle, because the damage it deals is split amongst everyone within 6 yards, but it also knocks everyone very far back. Because of this, you want to make sure to fight the boss on the edge of the platform, and after he knocks everyone back, he creates a big slag crater there, and you cannot stand in it or you will die. What also happens is that the slag bombs from earlier now erupt, and they hit anyone around them. So the further away the people with bombs can get with them, the better. At most, you'll only be able to take 4 smashes before the entire platform is all cratered up. You can pop lust right when you get in position for this phase, or you can pop it at 20% for everyone's executes. That was a too long dinner read version of Blackhand on normal. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, and have a great day!